Mr. Zuckerberg, again, thank you for being here. Appreciate uh, your, your good offices and uh, voluntarily coming before us. Uh, you have testified that you voluntarily uh, took uh, Cambridge Analytica's word that they had deleted information, found out subsequently that they did not delete that information, have sent in uh, your own forensics team, uh, which I, I applaud. Uh, I just want to make sure and get some questions answered here. Uh, can you tell us that uh, they were not told, they were told not to destroy any data, misappropriated data they may find? Uh, Congressman, so you're, you're right that in 2015, when we found out that the app developer Alexander Kogan had sold data to Cambridge Analytica, um, we reached out to them. At that point, we demanded that they delete all the data that they had. They told us at that point that they had done that. And then a month ago, we heard a new report that said that, um, that they actually hadn't done that. But I'm talking so, about the direction you've given your forensic team. Now, if they find stuff, they are not to delete it at this point in time, or are they going to go ahead and delete it? The audit team that we yes. are, are sending in? Right. The first order of business is to understand exactly what happened. And well, I'm worried about the, the information being deleted without law enforcement having the opportunity to actually review that. Will you commit to this committee that neither Facebook nor its agents have removed any information or evidence from Cambridge Analytica's offices? Uh, Congressman, I do not believe that we have. And, and how about Mr. Kogan's thing, office, if I may ask? One specific point on this is that our audit in the, uh, of Cambridge Analytica, we've paused that in order to cede to the UK government which is conducting its own government audit, which of course, an investigation, which of yes, course takes precedence. With all due respect, course. what I'm getting at is I'd like to have the information available for the UK or US law enforcement officials, and I did not hear you commit to that. Will you commit to the committee that Facebook has not destroyed any data or records that may be re relevant to any federal, state, or international law enforcement investigation? Congressman, yes, what, what I'm saying is that the UK government is going to complete its investigation before we go in and do our audit, so they will have Full access so you've to all suspended the your audit pending We're, the UK's investigation. Yes, we've uh, we've okay. we've paused it pending theirs. So it's my understanding that uh, you and other Facebook executives have the ability to rescind or delete messages uh, that are on people's websites. Uh, to be clear, I just want to make sure that if that is indeed the case, that after you've deleted that information, that somehow law enforcement, particularly relevant to this case, would still have access to those messages. Congressman, yes. Okay. We have a document retention policy of the company where for some people we delete emails after a period of time, but we, of course, preserve anything that there's a legal hold on. Great. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, while you've testified very clearly that you do not sell information, uh, it's not Facebook's model, you do the advertising and obviously uh, have other means of uh, revenue, but it's pretty clear others do sell that information. Doesn't that make you somewhat complicit in what they're doing? You're allowing them to sell the information that they glean from your website? Well, Congressman, I would disagree that we allow it. We actually expressly prohibit any developer that people how do you share their How do you enforce with. that? That's my concern. How do you enforce that? Complaint only is what I've heard so far tonight. Yes, Congressman. Some of it is, is in response to reports that we get, and some of it is we do spot checks to make sure that the apps are actually doing what they, uh, what they say they're doing. Um, and going forward, we're going to increase the number of audits that we do as well. So last question is, is, it's my understanding based on the testimony here today that even after I'm off of Facebook, that you guys still have the ability to follow my web interactions. Is that correct? Congressman. I've logged out of Facebook. Do you still have the ability to follow my interactions on the web? Congressman, you have control over what we do for, for ads and the, and the information collection around that. On security, there may be specific things about how you use Facebook, even if you're not logged in, that we, that we keep track of to make sure that people aren't abusing the systems. Gentlemen's time <coughs> has expired.